From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your afternoon update. We have another calm day of weather for the Tennessee Valley before Francine begins to impact and dictate our weather. We still have, again, calm weather for today. Starting to see some clouds from Francine's system into south portions of Alabama. Francine, though, still swirling down in the Gulf of Mexico, expected to move east northeastward as we progress throughout the next several hours and several days. But locally, for at least the rest of today, we are going to be dry and mostly sunny. Maybe just a few clouds here and there, kind of like yesterday, just a little bit warmer than yesterday. Temperatures into the upper 80s to lower 90s for this afternoon. A mostly clear sky for the evening with a few clouds overnight as temperatures get down into the lower to mid 60s across the area. Now tomorrow we are going to start to see clouds move in from the south from Francine as Francine continues to move closer and closer to the Tennessee Valley with a few showers by your Wednesday afternoon from Francine's outer bands. Now I will say I don't think we're going to see any sort of widespread rain showers by Friday or Wednesday afternoon excuse me but we will start to see some moisture filter in and then a much more widespread showers and storms by the overnight Wednesday, continuing all day Thursday. So Francine at this time is a tropical storm expected to become a hurricane this afternoon. Expected to make landfall as a high-end Category 1 hurricane in Louisiana on Wednesday evening and then continue to move through Mississippi as we progress throughout Thursday and into Friday and then eventually going to dissipate to our west. Now that puts us here in the Tennessee Valley on the eastern side of this storm. So we are monitoring very closely for any potential impacts looking like flooding and flash flooding going to be the main impact as well as some gusty winds and the uh, slight chance for a tornado threat on Friday. I'll explain that here in just a moment, but here's a look through Futurecast heading throughout the next few days. Thursday, again, widespread heavy rainfall moving in overnight Thursday morning, continuing to Thursday afternoon, even into the evening hours. And then heading into Friday, you see a little bit of a break, a few clouds, or I should say a few rain bands starting to break up by Friday morning. That's when we could start to see potentially a little bit of instability creep into the Tennessee Valley. However, Again, not totally likely, but possible. Still a very conditional threat that we are monitoring. Will the ingredients all line up exactly when they need to to create a tornado threat for us here in the Tennessee Valley? We are still monitoring and we will keep you updated. Just note that the possibility is there. The likely likelihood, though, is not at this time. And then the remnants, at least the moisture remnants, will linger through Saturday and Sunday, just leaving us some leftover rain showers. Now, by Friday evening, once the bulk of the rainfall is out of here, we are looking at a widespread two to four inches of rain, maybe some locally higher totals as we see rain bands set up and kind of train over themselves here in the area. Highest chance for rain going to be overnight Wednesday into Thursday, Thursday night, and then into Friday as well. We may have to increase Friday's chances again. We just have a little bit of uncertainty of what exactly Francine's remnants are going to do and what atmospheric at conditions will be in play for Friday. So stay tuned on Friday's forecast, but Thursday looking wet and windy as Francine's remnants impact us here in the Tennessee Valley. And it will also cool off our temperatures. We are probably going to stay in the 70s Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday with not seeing much sunshine any of those days. Your hometown forecast for this afternoon, bringing it back to today. Temperatures in at the upper 80s for southern middle Tennessee with a mostly sunny to partly cloudy sky. Same story for North Alabama, but a few of you folks may hit the 90 degree mark for this afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast again. Today is one more calm day before the storm, quite literally. For Wednesday, we're going to start to see cloud cover increase, maybe a few afternoon rain showers, but more widespread and heavy rain will move in Wednesday night, continuing into Thursday and continuing into Friday as well. Again, not really seeing any sort of instability or any storm fuel for Thursday. Rain cooled air should limit that. But we will see widespread showers and storms, and that's the day we're going to have to watch for some flooding or flash flooding issues as heavy rainfall will move through. That is when we are going to see the bulk of our rainfall, and then, of course, it will continue on Friday with any showers and storms that do move through. And, of course, we will be monitoring instability and other storm parameters to see if we do have a tornado threat for Friday. Right now, again, 
It is possible, but not looking likely. Temperatures stay in the 70s. Heading into the weekend, a little bit of moisture lingers with a chance of some showers here and there. And that will continue into Monday as well before finally leaving the Tennessee Valley. That's a look at your local forecast. Fred is back live at 5 with another weather update.